Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete all the week free challenges in one video, the best strategies, and all the locations of the hidden ducks and the treasure. So let's get straight into this. I've had a few suggestions of this on Twitter, so that's why I'm doing this for you guys. But the first one is the replay system. This is so simple to do. All you simply do is click onto your career mode, press on the replay, play a replay and back out. And you guys will get this one done in seconds. The next one is to get damage with your pistol. That is very, very easy as well. Simply just go into a game, look for a revolver, a hand cannon, a suppressed pistol, or just a hang like gun or a pistol, whatever you want to call it you can get easy damage with that even if you don't win or get a kill it's all right just keep doing it every single game and you guys will eventually get that done pretty easily once you've done that one the next one after this is actually the locations of chests within lonely lodge so we'll hop into that and i'll show you guys some footage of that so Lonely Lodge itself is kind of a bit of a maze when it comes down to looking for chests, but I'm going to show you guys every single chest I know to help you guys get this pretty easily. There's at least 12 chests I show you guys in this footage, so let's start off in the main house. There are a total of three chests in here. There's one here, one on this side of the house when you break through here, and one on this side, the east side of the house, just over here. So you can get all of them pretty easily within that house if you keep landing there. You can get a total of three. The next one I want to show you guys is in this little like cottage you can wind this back by the way and i'll probably upload this as a separate video for you guys as well later on in the week but up here we've got another one as well so you've got two in this section here so it's five chests in total so far as we keep flying around we've also got these two bat buildings in this lower one here there is no chest in this one but in the one up here there's another one so that's six chests in a space of a small area easily almost done your challenge the next location is the tall tower in here you can get a total of three chests you get one on the balcony on the top up here one inside the hut and then there's also one inside the actual construction of the tower so that is now a total of nine chests so you would have completed your challenge by now then you've got another one within here which adds up to 10 chests so we're on 10 now and then we keep going around through here and there should be at least another two or three so there's another one underneath here underneath like the mountain bit so that's 11 chests then we've got another one on here so that adds up to 12 chests and i'm pretty sure that is every single chest that i know within lonely lodge we've already got this one in here so that's a total of 12 chests that you guys can get your hands on at least two or three games and you'll probably get access to all these chests the best way of going to go into like lonely lodge is on a game of squads you guys will go there on a solo if you go on your own solo squads you'll most likely get no squads going there and you'll have the entire lonely lodge for yourself make sure you do that and you guys will get access to them pretty easily but then there's all the locations of the chests within Lonely Lodge. Now, moving on to all 10 ducks to help you guys complete this challenge very, very quickly. So, starting at Lucky Landing, moving through Fatal, then to Moisty, then to Retail, and then to Lonely, or Loot and then go retail lonely depending on what you want to do this is the fastest route so the first one is located under this bridge by lucky landing pretty easy to get get to that one straight away now the next one is pretty simple you simply just run down the river down by lucky landing you keep going all the way down and you'll notice when you hop off the river the second one will be located there you guys will be able to get access to that one pretty quickly now the one after this is actually located in fatal fields it's located inside this little pond type structure pretty easy to grab you guys will know where that is exactly look on my map just below the eye just by the two like towers there very easy to get to once you grab this one in fatal field you want to head over to moisty Mire. there is one located in moisty Mire in this pond just right in front of me now just by the crab it's the nearest one to the crab so you can go straight over there land in that pond and you guys will get access to that rubber duck pretty quickly the reason i'm doing this fastest route is because there's a bunch of videos out there and they just don't really explain how you actually do these routes it's something i like to do in all these challenges to help you guys do them as quickly as possible so as we keep heading through moisty Mire, where do you want to go next retail row so run over to retail and you guys will get the access to two rubber ducks at retail row in total one is by this west side of retail or the east side should i say sorry and on the west side the other one's located this one's on the east side it's just by this little room here with a little like water container fingers you can actually break that and you can get access to that rubber duck there you have to break it to get access to it but it's a pretty easy one to find it's just below the w on the retail row now the other one is on the other side of retail on the west side in a toilet or in the bathroom of that building just in front of me there just by the little like cage area here it's just inside there that building there you can go above it you can break in inside the bathtub and there you go you get that duck pretty easily so we're zooming through these ducks already collected six of them 
only four more to go now. So where are these last four? Well, there's a bunch all over the map, but the closest ones for a one game route is actually Lonely Lodge. So you can head to Lonely Lodge or Loot Lake, depending on which route you want to do this. Lonely Lodge is probably best to head to Nets and then go Loot Lake after. I know you're going back on yourself, but I would just recommend, do, recommend doing this. The other one in Lonely Lodge, the first one is located just in this underground section, just below the E on the Lonely Lodge. It's pretty easy to find. It's like in a little hidden cave by the river. And then the next one's located on the other side of Lonely, on the north side should i say just above the y in the little pond as well most of these are located in water and they're pretty easy or near water so they're pretty easy to gain access to so this one's just located down there just over there in this big pond you'll see it when you go into it it's pretty easy to get access to there so that's probably the best route the best route in general is to probably come here from moisty maybe depending on where the circle is and stuff you have to debate where to go but the route is possible to do in one game if you can pull it off the next one is in loop late this one is just by the boat section you guys will probably know where that is straight away pretty easy to get access to by that boat section so we've grabbed that one and the final one is just in the waterfall down here on the south of loot lake and you guys can get access to that one pretty quickly by just breaking that rock or jumping over and grabbing it but that's it for this video it's a very short video i hope it has helped you guys complete this even in one game two three it's going to help you complete it a lot quicker than searching the entire map for them it's the quickest location the easiest section to search especially if the circle lands here you guys could possibly complete this in one game after completing all the duck challenges, you will be asked to find the treasure map found in Salty Springs. This one is probably a pretty easy challenge because it's just over here by the race course on the west hand side of the map. You guys can go over there in your little bus, travel over, hop out, and you guys will get access to it pretty easily. It's bang on where my marker is, just below that tree. So as the bus goes over, I'll show you guys that. It's such an easy one to gain access to. With most of the challenges getting leaked online now, most people can already find the location of this before it actually drops, meaning we don't even really need to go to Salty Springs to gain access to it. You simply just follow a few people in game, talk to a few people within the community, and this just comes straight away. It's a really easy one to get, and it's just, by, like I said, just by that tree. You hop in with your glider. You can see it just in front of me. As soon as I land that, I don't actually collect it in this gameplay because I just thought, you know, I may as well not collect it because I like to grab a screenshot, but obviously, if you're all landing there, you're going to want to collect it unless you want to grab a screenshot for yourself to share with your friends. Other than that, you may as well land here and get access to it straight away. It's such an easy one to grab, and you simply just land by these tires here, and there it is. Hold X to grab it. You can either just chill here and get a few kills, because obviously a lot of people are going to be coming to this today, and probably tomorrow. After that, it'll start to cool down a little bit, because most people would have probably already grabbed this. But depending on when you're coming to it, you're probably going to have a few people here. You can see this guy here. He's got an SMG ready to take us out. Look, he's just trolling me. He's grabbing it first. I'm hitting him a few times and then he just goes and finishes me off but you get the idea it's a pretty easy one to gain access to now the next one i want to show you guys is simply a sniper kill you've got to get two of these this season or this week should i say pretty easy to do i'm just giving it on 50 50 i just get one kill there and unfortunately someone else downs the guy i'm trying to down there but i would have probably got him with that sniper shot but you guys can do that pretty easily and the final one is to get three kills within tilted towers this one is so so easy most of you will just be able to do this in one game i did it in one game i ended up getting five kills in total within tilted towers you simply just land there the best way to do it if you are struggling to do this and maybe you're not like a pro player or you just started playing fortnite maybe you're one of the newbie players i don't like calling people noobs or pros but you get the idea maybe you're new to fortnite or you're just not having like not everyone is amazing at Fortnite, and myself, I'm not perfect. Most people aren't perfect at Fortnite, but the best way of doing this at Tilted Towers, if you are struggling, is landing the gaff, the building that I'm in, the, the second tallest building within Fortnite, and then you, or should I say Tilted Towers, you land here, and you can grab a shotgun, and you can take people out very easily by doing that. If you guys land here every single time, you guys will definitely have a chance of doing this challenge, even if you are really struggling with it, you'll most likely eventually get it in this building, because you can camp around corners and stuff. I know it's quite a newbie tactic but it does work and if you guys do need help doing it that is the best way of doing it by camping around corners in that building this building that i'm above now it is the best building to do it in the thanos game mode will also be really useful for this because if you do get your hands on thanos you could actually go to tilted towers and get a few kills do remember if you are playing as thanos they will get the height advantage on you and you can struggle to kill them if they do have the height advantage but if they don't have the height you've got an easy chance to do it this guy got very lucky with his stairs there and luckily managed to build the last stairs to keep himself alive there but the thanos game mode is going soon again 50 50s and also 
great game mode for this if you want to get a few kills. I don't get any kills with the scoped AR right now, but later on in this footage, you guys will see I get some easy kills using my free burst. The best two game modes for this is probably the 50-50 and the Thanos game mode, depending on when you're watching this video. The Thanos game mode may have been removed. 50-50 will stay in the game for a little bit longer though, so if you guys want to play that, you can. I can hear a guy below me, so I'm just kind of a bit cautious about that, but it's pretty easy to do. Simply get a shotgun, get a free burst, and get height and tilted, look out for enemies, and you guys will be able to take them out pretty quickly. You'll see in a second, I start pinging people off with my free burst. I start seeing people, and all I simply do is throw some grenades in like that. I don't think the grenades actually get any damage, but they almost stick to him. I get a nice little free burst off. I know there's a guy down there somewhere, so I slowly start to build across. Uh, I'm building across now nice and easily. I build down. There we are. Get the ramp down. I see another person running around. There he is. Go for some headshots on him. There we are. An easy free burst. All three bullets hit. Easy kill again. I know there's another guy behind me somewhere when I drop down here. I do start getting shot at. I'm not too sure where I'm getting shot at right now, but it's okay. So I'm already on three kills and I've already completed my tilted challenge. So it really doesn't matter what happens from here. It's pretty easy to do. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you are new to the channel, stick around because I'm hopefully going to be doing some giveaways in the future within streams to you guys. I want to give away free battle passes, free V-Bucks to you guys, give back to you guys within streams. Not too much within videos because I like to aim my videos straight to the point as soon as possible but them videos that i do plug it now and then so stay tuned for them as well hope you guys have enjoyed like i said leave a like comment and subscribe especially if you're new around here i really do appreciate it we've been growing absolutely insanely recently and it's really awesome for everybody to support the channel and help me out with that sort of stuff anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed and once again enjoy the rest of the gameplay and this is postbox pat signing out Thank you.